Aloha, welcome to lesson five of our natural cloth diapering class here on Easy Peasy. In this video, I'm going to show you some accessories for natural cloth diapering. I will show you close up some options for cloth wipes, some options you could use as wet bags or pale liners, and some wool puddle pads or changing pads. Let's dive right in. If you're gonna be cloth diapering, I highly recommend also using cloth wipes. They're a wonderful accessory to go along with cloth diapers. That way, after you clean your baby, you can just put both the wipes and the diaper into your wet bag or your diaper pail. I have a few different options to show you here. This is an organic cotton flannel wipe from Oh So Cozy. I really like these because they're super thin. I just wet them with water before using them on my baby or sometimes I'll rinse my baby off in the sink and use this just to pat dry. This is a super thin wipe. Flannel is one of my favorite options for cloth wipes. This one here is Organic Cotton Sherpa, and this is something I purchased from Wazoodle, which is an online store where you can buy fabric for making your own cloth diapers. And these wipes come pre-cut already in an eight inch by eight inch square. And then all you need to do is just stitch the edges. So I'm planning to serge around this to finish these wipes off. Super soft, nice organic cotton Sherpa. What I have here is the sampler pack of Clothies Baby Wipes from Green Mountain Diapers. If you're not quite sure which type you wanna get, you can order the sampler pack so you can feel them, try them, and see what's your favorite. This one is the muslin fabric, so it's similar to their muslin flat diapers. I really like this one. I think these would also work great as cloth napkins or paper towel alternative. This is the organic cotton bird's eye, so similar to their bird's eye flat diapers. And this can either come in this version or they have a bleached white version as well. I like this size personally, the square size worked well for me. These are really rough and grippy, so if you're gonna be wiping a poopy bottom, they're a good option. For us, since we were doing EC and my daughter was pooping in the potty a lot, we didn't need quite so grippy of a material for wipes. This one, I believe they call the velour one. This side is a little bit velour filling and then terry on this side. So if you want two different surfaces, maybe one for when you're cleaning a poop and one for when it's just a wet diaper. You could opt for something like that. And then Green Mountain Diapers has two options for two-sided wipes. There's this unbleached one, two different fabrics on either side. And then this bleached white version, this is like terry feeling on this side, softer on this side. That's a great way to go about it, is try a few different options and see which works best for you and your baby. Some people like to also make up a wipe solution, but I'm just really cautious about what I put on my baby, so I find just pure water works fine for us for wetting our wipes. For the diaper bag, sometimes I'll bring a little spray bottle along to wet the wipes when we're out and about in case there isn't a sink nearby. And at home, I would keep an insulated container of warm water at the diaper changing station so that I could wet them right there. Green Mountain Diapers does offer this much larger bird's eye cotton option that's a paper towel alternative. So if you're switching to a lot of low waste, zero waste reusable options in your household, you might want to also switch out your paper towels for fabric ones like this. A super helpful cloth diapering accessory to have is some wet bags. I like to have two different sizes. At home, it's nice to have either a large hanging wet bag or a reusable cloth diaper pail liner that you can just wash each time you wash your diapers. And that's great for storing most of your dirty cloth diapers at home. And then when you're out and about, you could bring along a smaller wet bag or wet dry bag in your diaper bag. On top here, I have a Kanga Care wet bag. It's about a medium size. Our family was traveling for a year recently. And so this is what I was using as like our hanging wet bag diaper pail in any of the Airbnbs we were staying in. I like that it's a round cylindrical shape that made it easier for fitting in fitted diapers into it. And it was easy to hang it on any hook, bar, or door handle. This style is polyester with a waterproof laminate inside. These can be washed in the washing machine. So you can either wash them right along with your cloth diapers 
and cloth wipes, or you can wash them in a separate load, maybe like with your towels. The one thing I found is sometimes having a waterproof bag in the washing machine can interfere with the water draining out of the machine. So that's why sometimes I prefer to wash them separately. This is an organic caboose wool wet bag. I think not as many people are familiar with wool wet bags. So this one, it says on the website that you don't even need to lanolize it, but I personally would give it a nice heavy lanolin bath on the inside with the inside out. And then lanolin neutralizes urine. So if you were to put peed on diapers into this and it was lanolized, that would help keep the smell away. This is the larger size. They also have a small size. On the large, it has these two handles so you can hang it off of a stroller. So if you're out and about for the day and you don't want to put the dirty diapers directly back into your diaper bag, you could hang a wet bag like this off of your stroller and just put any of the wet diapers in there. Their smaller size wool wet bag has just one handle on it. One of my favorite brand of wet bags is Planet Wise. I've been using these for about six years since my first child was a little baby. I really like this design where there's two different pockets. Sometimes they're called a wet dry bag. That's because the wet dirty items can go in this waterproof pocket and the clean dry items can go in this pocket that's just cotton here. On the Planet Wise bags, this outer layer is cotton, which I find washes very nicely in the washing machine and the inner layer is laminated polyester and waterproof. So if I'm packing my diaper bag for the day, I pack the clean diapers in this outer pocket, and as I use them, I move them into the inner pocket. Then when I get home, dump the diapers in the pail, pull out this lining, and this whole bag can go in the washing machine. After your diapering days are done, these type of bags still work great for things like swimsuits, any wet clothes your kids might have from playing at the beach or playing in the sprinklers. Wet bags keep being useful for years and years. Grovia also offers wet bags. I got this size specifically for carrying in my diaper bag when we were using fitted diapers while traveling because the way it's shaped, it works a bit better for bulky style diapers like fitteds or all-in-ones than those more flat rectangular wet bags I was using before. This nice small size could fit about two of the large fitted diapers we were using. Again, it's polyester with a laminate. These roll up really small, so you can fit them really compactly into your diaper bag. Even once my kids are potty trained, I like to carry along a wet bag, just in case of an accident or, you know, they unexpectedly find some water to play in and get wet. It's just always nice to have some sort of waterproof bag along with this, and this barely takes up any space. Blueberry Diapers offers these berry pods. I think there's some other brands that also offer diaper pods. They're also good for carrying baby carriers in them. And I was searching and searching for something that had more of this cylindrical shape. This style of bag is great for packing your clean cloth diapers in your diaper bag. It works to stack up fitted diapers or all-in-ones in here and just keep them neat and organized in the bag. I could fit about six size large fitted diapers all stacked along in here. It is laminated. I didn't usually put dirty diapers into these. I used it just as a way to organize the clean diapers. It does have a little handle on top. One of my other favorite brands that offers wet bags is Logan and Lenora. They offer this really thin change pad, which is nice to have in my diaper bag. At home, I was using a thin wool changing pad, but that was even a bit bulky for the diaper bag. So I really liked this thin Logan Lenora change pad and it has a magnet right here. So when you close it, it goes back into shape really easily and it's super trim. I also have the matching clutch from Logan Lenora. This one has two waterproof pockets. This one is waterproof and this one as well. These type of bags just have so many uses. This could be used for cloth diapering. I was actually using it to carry my daughter's easy peasy meal kit in it so I could keep clean items in one pocket and then after she ate and got something dirty, put it in the other pocket. There are just so many uses for these style waterproof bags. So if it starts out as a diaper clutch and then your baby's out of diapers later, you can use it as 
a toiletries bag, use it for going to the beach, use it for a meal kit. There's just so many possibilities. Here's a larger waterproof pouch from Logan and Lenora. This one I use to carry our travel potty, the Potet Plus in it. I put the Potet Plus and collapsible liner in this outer pocket, and then I put any extra bags to use in that or creamy pre-folds to use inside the potty into this outer pocket. I'm a big fan of wet bags. They're one of my favorite cloth diapering accessories, and I recently saw that Assembly Baby is offering wet bags that are made from recycled water bottles and their day bag looks super cute. It has two waterproof pockets and it's kind of like a little purse tote bag. So you could just pack it up as a lightweight diaper bag for short trips out and about. I would definitely recommend having about two large wet bags to use at home and about two or more to use in your diaper bag so that if one is in the wash, you have another one available. Another one of my favorite cloth diapering accessories is a wool puddle pad. So this serves as a water repellent pad. This particular one is from Little Bunny Bear in the UK. Baby Greens in the USA also offers them. Those are available on the Green Mountain Diapers website. There's an upcoming lesson on how to wash and lanolize wool. And once this has been lanolized, it will be water repellent. I use this wool puddle pad with my daughter ever since she was a newborn through when she was a toddler. So it worked great when she was younger. I would put a clothies muslin swaddle blanket over it that was just about the right size. And it, we used it to protect the bed from any bodily fluids in those early days postpartum. There's a lot going on. What I do for a diaper free time is lay a cloth prefold on top and my baby can lay on that. And if this gets wet or soiled, I can just put that in the diaper pail and put another one on top, but the wool can keep being used over and over again before it needs to be washed. I highly recommend having some sort of waterproof pad for your baby. If wool isn't your thing, then you could also opt for something like an organic cotton one with a waterproof laminate layer inside to make it waterproof. You might want to have some sort of diaper rash cream. With cloth diapers, diaper rashes are less likely to happen, but they do happen sometimes. We would use something simple like organic virgin cold pressed unrefined coconut oil, or two brands that I like are Mother Love or Earth Baby Organic Diaper Balm are two other options as well. But you might want to have something on hand just in case you end up needing it. That wraps up our lesson on natural cloth diapering accessories. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified as each new lesson is released. Up next in lesson six, we'll be covering how to wash and dry cotton cloth diapers. I'll give you a basic wash routine for washing every other day. And also I will show you how to prep brand new cotton cloth diapers. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and share with your friends. Let's make cloth mainstream.